I heard from Shi Kuei that it was you who became a business advisor and assisted Arm Ali Merchant Guild in their dispute with the IPC. <laughs> How versatile. Is there anything you can't do? The President is still a hero to Arm Ali. He helped it achieve prosperity, but a hero will not be embraced forever. I've seen the IPC's approach. They prioritize efficiency and a standard uniform business model across the galaxy. I warned them that their business model wouldn't work on the Xianzhou without adjustments, but the Merchant Guild's overly traditional mindset is a different obstacle. Let me put it bluntly. Arm Ali Merchant Guild has no chance of succeeding today. And yet, all of you now represent a third choice, different from both the Merchant Guild and the IPC. My advice to you is to visit the shopkeeper, Mr. Xiao. He is the one who proposed the reorganization of the Merchant Guild. If you can get his support, you will definitely receive support from the other merchants. Thank you, Madam Yukong. I have business to attend to in the Palace of Astrum. The rest is up to you. Convince the old shopkeeper, and you may just become the new heroes of Aram Ali. Something fixed? We guarantee that your genium will be good as new. Of course, if it's outworld or technology, it'll depend on the world. I'd appreciate it if you could state the reason for your visit today. Mr. Xiao, I'm Ming Shi, the secretary of the Merchant Guild. We're here to talk about. Ugh, forget it. I support the IPC. Can you tell us why? Please leave. I don't recall. Let's leave for now. Wait, please wait a moment. It sounded like my father was being a little difficult. I'm Xiaohan. People around here call me Little Master. If I'm not mistaken, you're the ones who made Representative Scott apologize in public. You stood up for Aram Ali with reason and integrity. I'm thankful to you. May I ask why you wanted to speak with my father? We need the support of the merchants for the dock. And we wanted to see if your father could join us. Hadn't my father already refused? We heard that Mr. Xiao proposed to reorganize the merchant guild, and we wanted to ask why. I see. I'll help you figure something out. Great! Uh, your father is a very tough nut to crack. The older generation of craftsmen can be rather set in their ways. 
Here, how about this? Why not join my father's shop as apprentices? My father is stern on the surface, but if he sees a capable apprentice and a sincere heart, he'll change his attitude. A sincere heart always has the power to impress people. So, it's decided? Let's get moving then. Time to make you apprentices. Father, my friends from the Merchant Guild want to be your apprentices. I'll go ahead and show them the ropes. Nonsense. I, I never said I needed more hands. Even if I did want to hire more people, I couldn't afford them. <clears throat> you know that better than I do. I can cover their salaries. Come on, it'd be rude to turn them away. Don't be ridiculous. A green hand like her won't be able to fix a thing. Plus, if she breaks our customer items in the process, <laughs> it'll be us taking the blame. If that's what you're worried about, just give them a little training. <clears throat> that sounds like a yes to me. Let's get on with the job, shall we? Here's something from one of our regulars. Show him what you can do. Hard to impress. I'll find you some more work. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? Just a reminder, Father. Fair work for fair pay. Over here. See what you can do with this jade abacus. Don't just stand there, Father. Go teach your apprentice a thing or two. Fine. I, I give in. I know why you're here. Just... Please stop tinkering with my customers' items. It's fine, just leave it as it is. Ask what you wanted to ask. Yes, he's an old friend. see a lot of potential in the corporation's plan. But a certain old friend of mine lives in the past. Whatever vision he has, it won't come true. Issue? It's less about issues and more about stubbornness. Stubbornness is intrinsic to long-life species. We walk a single path, do the same things, and talk to the same people for centuries. The mind can become insensitive to change. However, compared to the president, my stubbornness is nothing. Back in his day, our O'Malley was teeming with shuttling star skiffs and commercial aromatons. But then the law food departed again on the path of the hunt, our business partners couldn't follow, so they stopped trading with us. He always says the alley deserves another chance. Indeed, which is why he won't let it go. 
He wants to see the streets teeming with tourists, not IPC cargo. But times have changed. We can't sail against the current. That's why I stand behind the IPC's plan. Our O'Malley will inevitably be replaced. But is your shop part of the future that the IPC promised? <sighs> Hard to say. Chances are I'll have to sell it. Not the easiest decision to make, but I won't regret it. The good days are behind us. We must accept that short life species will repurpose our lands and that night markets are destined to become shipping docks. We must come to terms with the fact that short life ambitions will reshape a world where things were thought to last forever. Mr. Xiao, why not try working with us? Mingxi is pushing for reforms within the guild. We are nothing like the president. R reforms? They made a lot of good points when arguing with the IPC at the dock. I do see possibilities for the guild to change. Mm, given the state of the guild, my money is on the IPC winning. But since I've accepted the worst-case scenario, our O'Malley ceasing to exist, I can't see why it hurts to endorse your idea and see how far it takes us. Thank you. Now that you have joined our revival project, I'm sure many others will follow suit. Hmm. That's settled then. I'm curious to see what comes of your plan. Mr. Zhao is on board. His shop can be part of the logistics network we've been working on. the dock for now. Thanks for all the hard work, by the way. Hope things work out just as smoothly down the line.
Dawson had to call off the swarm. to do on the Aramali Revival Project. Let's give it our all. The Merchant Guild's funds are not exactly overflowing right now. We need to work harder.
there's still more work to do on the Arumali Revival Project. Let's give it our all. If we keep going the long way around, we'll be in the... Red.
regardless of the IPC's wishes. The Merchant Guild's funds are not exactly... Overflowing right now. Regardless of the IP IPC sales wrap.
Regardless of the IPC's wish, the dock workers are always yelling, lay up. before stocking the merchandise. It scares me to death every time.
buns and steam buns. The buns are huge. Just a few and you'll be full.
even steamed buns. Buns are huge. Just a few and you'll be full. What a nice day. Take your time. There's always some... Regardless of the IP, the tourists say that they've been seeing a lot more side cranes on the streets recently. Take a look for yourself.
I have something to tell you. We achieved our revenue goal for this quarter. This is all thanks to you two. Not to mention the merchants of Arum Alley. The Merchant Guild promises that we will use the money where it is meant to be spent. No disappointments. The funds will be used for the overall repair and upgrade of the dock, which means we won't be able to use the dock's shipping logistics for a while. To reward you and Su Shang for your long hours of work, the Merchant Guild has ordered some gourmet snacks from Tall Auntie, so you can rest for a bit and prepare for the revival of Arum Alley. And steam what a nice day. I've heard about all the great things you've done for Aramali. Please, take your time. I've packed some for you to take home, too. Han is about to share his strategy for the upcoming hearing. The President likes to quote past experiences and data. We can do that too. The President and Madame Yu Kong are here. Ready? Let's do this. Before we start, uh, let's review the documents we have. This is the most direct achievement of our revival project. More importantly, it's evidence that the alley has regained its footing. The money will serve as the bidding deposit for Arum Alley. Since Artistry Hardware partnered with the dock, its scope of operations has expanded, and its revenue and customer satisfaction have both increased. As a result, we're seeing an uptick in customers visiting the shop, contrary to the President's assumptions. The data suggests that the success of the old Aram Alley was largely due to the economic circumstances of the past. At its peak, the old Aram Alley had a trading volume similar to what the Alley has today. The hearing is about to begin. I will be hosting this hearing on behalf of the Skyfaring Commission. Ming Shi, are your people all present? We're all here, but where's the president? I'm right here. You're the president? That is correct. I know my appearance is a little unsettling. If the hearing weren't of vital importance to the future of Aramali, I wouldn't attend in person. Still, I didn't expect a reaction like this. Are you so afraid to converse with a piece of metal? Hmm. Glad you think so. Let me remind everyone that we are at a hearing. Mr. President, please share with us your vision for Aram Ali. 
I can tell that the opposing side is eager to see Aramali thrive. Your passion resonates with me. The IPC plans to turn the alley into a logistics hub. You are practically thinking the same. The reality is, overdevelopment can only adversely impact customer experience, making the alley less appealing. Do you have data to support your statements? Historical data has proved my point. It is the reality, not rhetoric, that matters. I sense a hole in his logic. The reality is, overdevelopment can only adversely impact customer experience, making the alley less appealing. There are actually more customers coming to the alley. This record reflects the change in Artistry Hardware's turnover and the increase in customers since it partnered with the dock. The shop does better than it used to. Impossible. You must be bluffing. You know Ming Shi better than I do. Would she deceive you with fake data? The sample size is too small. I'm not convinced. If I were you, Mr. President, I would think of ways to translate the success of that one sample into something that can benefit everyone. A guild that doesn't proactively help businesses has no reason to exist. <sighs> you have not witnessed what I have seen, and so you fail to understand my insistence. You can't just rely on your age and experience. There are many things that only time can tell, young one. You have not witnessed what I have seen. The old Aram Alley achieved a commercial miracle that has- Are you suggesting that the alley is a shadow of its former self? That is correct. The number of customers visiting the shops was ten times what it is today. The alley was alive and was credited as the best night market on the Lafu. Things were better in the old days. Of that, I am certain. I sense a hole in his logic. The old Aram Alley achieved a commercial miracle that has not yet been replicated. You've been looking at the past through rose-tinted glasses. In the golden era you described, the old Aram Alley had a trading volume similar to today. You included the delivery side cranes in your math. We did. So what? You can't draw simple parallels between then and now using absolute numbers. The trading volume you mentioned may not look impressive today, but it was huge relative to... I see what you are saying. While criticizing you for making flawed comparisons, I myself also made the mistake of believing that what worked in the past could be copied to serve the present. Mr. President, the way I see it, you shouldn't regard the alley as a souvenir from the past. Arum Alley should embrace change, as its residents do. <clears throat> It seems we have reached an agreement. The hearing concludes here. First challenging an IPC rep and now winning over the president of the guild? You're pretty good! That won't be necessary. Knowing the president, I think he's now ready to entrust you with the future of the alley. The President commands the trust of many reputable shops in the Alley. Their support for him was likely to be a big obstacle to your rejuvenation project. His invitation to debate this matter publicly was a chance for the more difficult business owners to hear from you directly. I almost feel bad for him. Arm Alley's enemy should be the IPC, not the President. What if... The IPC isn't an enemy. Of course not. 
We'll win the operating rights to Aramali fair and square. And you're with the IPC? Xiao Han is the IPC's operation rep in Exalting Sanctum. You snake! My original plan only involved helping you overthrow the current president. But as we progressed, I saw there was more common ground than I'd anticipated. Since we all agree that the dock is vital to Aram Alley's development, why not take things further and turn the alley into a full-blown logistics hub? Imagine cargo ships from all corners of the galaxy, docking and departing. This place will be transformed into a renowned commercial port instead of another run-of-the-mill market. When the IPC wins the bidding, I'm sure we can continue to work together for a brand new Aram Alley. Hey, not so fast. It's still anyone's game. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. In that case, keep up the good work. I'll see you at the negotiation table. <laughs> 